Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I have another easy family classic for you. Today, I'm gonna to be making turkey and noodle casserole. This is a good, hearty casserole that's easy to throw together and perfect for when the weather starts turning cool. So stay tuned, and I will show you how to make it. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with just over a pound of ground turkey, but you could also use beef if you'd like. Now traditionally you're going to want to use egg noodles for this dish, but since I have a gluten-free family member, I'm just going to use the gluten-free variety. Because for whatever reason, I can never find egg noodles that are gluten-free. But if you know where I can find them, leave it down below. I'm also going to be using a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, 3 quarters cup of sour cream, one cup of cottage cheese, and half a cup of green onions, finely diced. I'm also using one cup of cheese. You can use any cheese that you prefer, but I'm gonna be using shredded cheddar. I'm also using three cloves of garlic. Oh yes, and I'm also gonna be using some salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cook my noodles till al dente. You definitely don't wanna overcook these noodles because they're gonna go in the oven as well. While my noodles are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and brown my turkey. I'm gonna add my fresh garlic that is crushed and some salt and pepper to taste which is about one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now if you're not using a lean meat, you may want to drain the excess oil. Next, I'm going to add my tomato sauce and let this simmer on low for about five minutes. In a separate bowl, I'm going to combine the sour cream, the cottage cheese, and my sliced green onions. And to this, I'm also gonna add a couple of shakes of salt and pepper. Next, I'm going to add this mixture to my meat and mix well. When my noodles are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and drain them and mix everything together. Next, I'm gonna dump all of this into a baking pan. You need at least a nine by 13 for all of this yummy goodness. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle the top with the cheese. I'm gonna put this in my preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the cheese is brown and bubbly. Doesn't that look delicious? It smells so good. When it's cooled down enough, you can dig in. Now this is definitely a classic, not a fancy or hard to make recipe at all, but so satisfying. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, because I like to share new recipes all the time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.